we will talk about gastric inflammation called gastritis, including the top five signs and how to detect, diagnose, and treat it effectively. Gastric inflammation in different severities affects significant portion of the population because the bacteria that cause it infects 50% of the world's population. Stress also causes gastritis because during stress, stress hormones activate the vagus nerve, which stimulates gastric acid production. Increased gastric acid causes inflammation of the gastric lining. This is why many people experience stomach pain during stressful situations. The first and most common sign of gastritis is stomach pain, which occurs just below the ribcage in the middle upper part of the abdomen. During gastritis, stomach pain typically occurs on an empty stomach and is relieved after eating. When you eat, the food temporarily neutralizes the acid and buffers the stomach lining, providing relief. The pain is usually moderate and described as a gnawing, burning, or aching sensation. The second most common sign of gastritis is nausea and vomiting. Nausea is a feeling of queasiness or an urge to vomit and can occur with or without vomiting. Vomiting usually happens after eating, and nausea can be present throughout the day. The third most common sign is bloating. A person feels fullness or swelling in the abdomen, an uncomfortable sensation often accompanied by belching. Gastritis causes inflammation of the stomach lining, which can slow down gastric emptying. This delay means food stays in the stomach longer, leading to a feeling of fullness and swelling. Additionally, the prolonged presence of food in the stomach leads to increased gas production, which needs to be expelled, leading to frequent belching. Belching can also be caused by swallowing air during eating. Also, gastritis causes loss of appetite due to slow gastric emptying. The most common cause of gastritis is a helicobacter pylori infection. The second most common cause is the regular use of NSAIDs like ibuprofen, aspirin, and naproxen, which can irritate and erode the stomach lining, leading to inflammation. The third most common cause is frequent alcohol consumption. Stress and certain foods also play a role, such as spicy foods, acidic foods like tomatoes and citrus, and alcohol, which are known triggers. Many people might notice their stomach feeling worse after eating certain foods, but might not connect it to gastritis. Sometimes, gastritis is caused by an autoimmune process that destroys stomach cells that produce intrinsic factor, a protein essential for vitamin B12 absorption, leading to anemia. This condition is called pernicious anemia. Symptoms can include fatigue, weakness, pale or jaundiced skin, and shortness of breath. The definitive diagnostic tool for gastritis is endoscopy. A flexible tube with a camera is inserted down the throat to visualize the inner lining of the stomach. The urea breath test can also be helpful for detecting helicobacter pylori infection. Testing B12 vitamin levels in the blood is also helpful to rule out pernicious anemia. If left untreated, gastric peptic ulcers can develop, sometimes leading to bleeding. Chronic inflammation can lead to the thinning of the stomach lining, atrophy, which impairs stomach function, a condition known as atrophic gastritis. This typically occurs over many years of chronic inflammation. Inflammation and irritation can also lead to the formation of polyps in the stomach lining, which can sometimes become cancerous. Chronic gastritis, particularly when caused by H. pylori infection or autoimmune gastritis, increases the risk of developing stomach cancer. This increased risk of cancer in case of chronic gastritis is significant around 1-3% to lifetime risk, especially after age of 50. It is several times higher compared to general population. Even asymptomatic gastritis can increase the risk of stomach cancer, so detecting gastritis is important because half of the cases of gastritis have no prominent symptoms. The most common treatment for gastritis is a triple regimen for H. pylori eradication, which includes two antibiotics and one proton pump inhibitor for two weeks. The regimen typically includes amoxicillin 1G twice a day clarithromycin 500mg twice a day omprazole 
lansoprazole, or another proton pump inhibitor, taken once or twice a day metronidazole can be used in place of amoxicillin in patients with a penicillin allergy. Also, reducing stomach acid is also important, and medications like ranitidine and famotidine can help. Antacids, such as aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide, neutralize stomach acid and provide quick relief. Cytoprotective agents like sucralfate and misoprostol protect the stomach lining. It's better to avoid non-steroidal anti-inflammatory pain relievers and use acetaminophen instead. Reducing alcohol consumption and managing stress with practices like meditation, yoga, and exercise are also beneficial. Avoiding spicy foods, acidic foods, processed meats, canned foods, carbonated drinks, and chocolate is recommended. Reducing caffeine intake is strongly advised because it stimulates stomach acid production. While coffee with milk slightly neutralizes acidity, it still stimulates gastric acid production and is harmful. Limiting or avoiding black tea is favorable, but green tea can be allowed if it doesn't exacerbate symptoms. Favorable foods include chicken, turkey, and fish, best when boiled, steamed, or grilled, avoid frying, almost any vegetable, especially boiled or steamed bananas, apples, and melons, best consumed raw if they are soft and non-acidic boiled oats, brown rice, and whole grain bread low-fat or fat-free dairy products, such as plain, low-fat yogurt without added sugars. Fermented foods like kefi, sauerkraut, and kimchi can promote gut health, but should be consumed in moderation to avoid excess acidity. The main principle is to reduce fat in your diet. High-fat foods can increase stomach acid production and slow gastric emptying, leading to irritation of the stomach lining and exacerbation of gastritis symptoms. Protein itself does not generally cause problems for gastritis sufferers. Lean proteins are easier to digest and do not stimulate excessive stomach acid production. Top 5 Foods During Gastritis Oatmeal, easy to digest and soothing for the stomach lining. Cook with water or low-fat milk and avoid adding excessive sugar or fat. Bananas, non-acidic, easy to digest and can help neutralize stomach acid. Eat raw or add to oatmeal or smoothies. Lean poultry, a good source of protein and low in fat. Yogurt, preferably plain and low-fat, it can provide beneficial probiotics. Vegetables, especially when boiled or steamed, they are easy on the stomach. Top 5 Supplements for Gastritis Probiotics, especially Lactobacillus rhamnosus and Lactobacillus ruteri, which are most effective. B12 Supplements, if gastritis affects B12 levels. Omega-3 Fatty Acids, due to their anti-inflammatory effects. Deedlessy Rhizinated Licorice, DGL, can soothe the stomach lining and reduce symptoms, available in chewable tablets or capsules. Glutamine, an amino acid that supports gut health and helps heal the stomach lining. 